suspected talks on Friday restricted the senator representing Gombe Central Senatorial District in Gombe State, Mohamed Danjuma Goje, from entering his home state. Goje, who arrived at the Gombe Airport in Lawanti around 10.40 a.m., was in the state to grace a wedding, Fatiha. It was learned that the suspected talks barricaded the Gombe Bauchi Highway near the International Conference Center, set Bonfas on the road, denying entry into or outside Gombe, the Litrust reports. The hoodlums also reportedly damaged and burnt several vehicles while scores of persons were said to have sustained various degree of injuries. Thousands of commuters were left stranded in the affected area as no vehicle was allowed in or outside the states. Security operatives have been deployed to restore law and order. The newspaper reports that the relationship between Goje and his erstwhile Godson, Governor Mohammed Inouye Yahaya, has been recently served over who controls the All Progressive Congress APC in the states. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? Even among the leaders, there is no relative peace among them. And we are trying to fight for peace in Nigeria. Tell me how do you think this will be possible in a situation whereby even among the leaders, there is no peace. What is your thoughts to this? As you can see, there is a high tension, you know, a very high one in Gombe State as talks block the Nigerian Senator Guji from entering his home state. According to the news, suspected talks on Friday restricted the Senator representing Gombe Central Senatorial District in Gombe State, Mohamed Danjuma Goje, from entering his home state. Goje is said to have arrived at the Gombe Airport in Lawanti around 10.40 a.m. Was, you know, in the state. He went to the state, pardon, to grace a wedding, Fatiha. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction? If you could recall in the news earlier, we found that the newspaper report that the relationship between Goje and the Governor Mohammed Inouye Yahaya has recently swore over who control the All Progressive Congress in the States. What is your thoughts to this? Imagine this kind of situation happening among you know two political leaders of you know a country. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? You know, don't forget that we are still talking about the issue of insecurity in Nigeria. But before we go, let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Chiadi Chuku Aguzie reacted to this and said, I can't imagine carrying my voter's card, join the queue, and cast my vote. And I remember that Mazi Inamdikanu, the man who abandoned his throne, is in the prison just because of me and my unborn generations. How do you think I will feel? What is your thoughts to this? You know, obviously, it is not only Chiadi that might probably be feeling the same way. You know, he is feeling now because just imagine casting your vote and you remember that Mazinam Dikanu has been fighting for you and your unborn generation left his throne fighting for the peace and the freedom of his own people is now in prison. How do you think, you know, people will start feeling if they should start thinking about this? That's what Chia they have said. That's how do you think I will feel? What is your thoughts to this? People have been lamenting over the release of Mazinam Dekano. People have been saying, we want him to be released. We want him to be released. There will not be any election in Anambra State if IPOP, you know, did not see their leader being released. So many things has been said. Now, IPOP has suspended its seat at home because there have been some interventions by the religious leaders, political leaders, and some stakeholders in the southeast of Nigeria. And these people have promised to make sure that Mazinam Dekano is released 
in no time. So, the IPA members have believed and the hoped these people will keep to their promises to ensure that Mazin Abdikano is released unconditionally. What is your thoughts to this? Imagine talks blocking Nigerian Senator Koji from entering his home state. Probably these people might not, you know, be bandits, they might not be terrorists, but they could be, you know, cultists, they could be talks, you know, to block him probably because they don't know his benefits in the states. Probably he has not done anything tangible to them because obviously if you are good to your people, immediately they hear you coming back to your home state, they will welcome you warmly. They will make you know they will make different preparations for your welcome. But probably because he has not been doing what he ought to do for them, he has not me you know doing what these people want. He has not allow them to benefit from him probably they have not benefited anything from his you know senatorial power that is why they have done what they've done we would like you to let us know your thoughts on this because these talks will not just block the senator without anything there must be something behind their actions and if it could be a set up we will surely know about that we would like you to let us know your own point of view to this what do you think could be done in this kind of situation of things in nigeria Matthew Joshua reacted and said, What these talks have done is a good one. Demand from him what he has done with the constituency project money. They are the citizens that voted for him, not talks. What is your thought, you know, to this that has been said? We have just heard what Matthew, you know, have said. That he needs to be, you know, crushed. It is a good one from the Kumbi State residents. Because this man has wasted the constituency project money given to him and he has done nothing. So, how do you think the Gombe residents will be happy to, you know, welcome him into the states? Like I've rightly said, probably these people have not gained anything from him. That is why they don't want him in their states. And according to what Joshua has said, they should demand from him what he has done with the constituency project money. They are the citizens that voted him in so ask him what he has done with the constituency project money given to him what is your thoughts to this what is your own reaction to this plain development series of things are really happening in nigeria talking about corruption it is more rampant among the leaders just imagine squandering money you ought to use you know in order to benefit for your own people not just yourself but the whole region your own state but because of selfish interests, because of self-centeredness, you squander the money and you pocket everything. Now tell me, how on earth is things like this not likely to happen? Who would like you to share your own point of view with us on this? Don't forget that tension as stocks block Nigerian Senator, you know, Senator Goje from entering his home state in Kumbi. They block him. They don't allow him to enter. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. What do you think must have instigated these talks to block the Nigerian senator from entering his own home state? Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.